I've always been interested in just creating things. Ever since I was a kid, like I just always had my hands into something. I wanted to sculpt something and I was drawing all the time. When I was a little bit older, I started just appreciating, you know, nature and how much artistry there is just in the natural world. I always thought that doing art was kind of the irresponsible thing to do. And so I went through school and I planned on having, you know, whether I liked it or not, kind of a corporate job. I always felt like there was a part of me that was almost dying. Like I had to suppress a part of myself to be able to sit at a desk all day. I would find myself, you know, even during lunch, I would escape and I'd go up to the canyon just to like feel myself again. It's just a scary thing when you've kind of had a, an idea of what your career path is going to be in your path in life and then you feel like um, all of a sudden you need to do something different. Like I was being true to myself and making that decision. I would spend a lot of time in the mountains and I remember walking by a river near my home and finding these it was in the spring and there was these leaves that had fallen in the fall. And over the course of that winter, it stripped the skin off the leaves. And so you just had these skeletons. And I remember thinking like, that's the most beautiful intricate pattern. And so I took it home and I figured out how to make prints from those leaves. And I think that's where I started realizing that nature was the artist and that I was in a way kind of like a publisher. So yeah, you can see how this one like, different from the other ones, the lines are so close together, all the rings grow just a little bit each year. I've always appreciated nature and always wanted to in a way preserve it, but at the same time be able to take some of it with me and make it a part of me. Really, nature's the artist rather than me and everybody appreciates that. So as long as you can be true to you know, that piece of wood or that leaf or things like that, then I feel like people have a natural connection to the art. One of my favorite prints right now is from a juniper tree that when it died, it was close to 900 years old. And so I found it, you know, lying on the ground decaying and I, I took a slice from it. And it was a difficult one because the, the rings are so close together. So I had to kind of even learn a new process to get this one to um, really transfer all the details. You know, things like that, like just seeing an old tree decaying on the ground where you know it has, has a cool story and lived a cool life. And, you know, it grew in such a harsh environment. And to live 900 years in a harsh environment, it must have a, a story to tell. And almost more than a statement, I feel like I would sum up, like, my, my mission as an artist in one word. And it's kind of an unusual word. It's austrenity. And that word, what it means is to capture something that's just very ordinary and to present it in a way that enhances our appreciation of that ordinary thing. And so I think that's kind of my, my mission as an artist is to capture the things that are often minute and overlooked and simple and then present it in a way that, uh, that makes us look at it differently and appreciate it more than we normally would. If I didn't use my hands to create with something or to connect with something, uh, and especially nature, I feel like I, I wouldn't know who I was exactly. I don't know, it, it's hard to put into words, but it's something that I almost just need to uh, keep myself alive and passionate. Thanks so much for watching this story story. For more inspirational stories each week, be sure to hit the subscribe button above and click the notification bell below.